Welcome back to another Inkscape tutorial. In this video, we're going to be looking at using the freehand drawing tool. And I've told you in past videos, stay away from it. Um, but I just want to show you some of the different settings of it. And if you are going to use it, I just want to show you kind of some, some things that can be nice with it. So I have my freehand tool selected. And this is going to be a good precursor into using the Bezier tool, which we'll cover in the next video. Um, also, in the past video, we talked about paths and objects. Uh, in just the previous video before this. So if you haven't watched that one yet, go ahead and watch it. It'll help this make a little more sense. So if we draw anything with this sort of pencil tool, this freehand draw tool, <clears throat> and then we go to edit the nodes of it by using this tool here, we see we've got all these different nodes. And that's because we had our, there's different settings for this when we do freehand drawing. So by default, it's a very, it records everything we do and it creates it kind of jagged. So we could smooth this out, and what we do is we go to Path, since this is a path and not an object. We go to Path, and then we just go to Simplify. And what that's actually going to do is remove some of those nodes. So now if we go, see there's not nearly as many nodes as there were before. We do the same thing again, go to Path, Simplify, and it gets rid of some of those nodes. And in the process, it smooths this out a little bit, so it's a little more smooth. Um, another way we can do this is just when we're drawing. And this is like a big difference. A lot of people think when they first start using Inkscape, they're like, well, Illustrator, you know, does freehand drawing a lot cleaner. But that's because it's just a setting. It's under smoothness. And Inkscape can do the same thing. So you just turn the smoothness up to like 50 up here under the settings when you have the freehand tool selected. And now if we draw some squiggly lines, it smooths it out. And we can make this even more if we do like, yeah, let's do 82. This is going to be like really smooth. So it, it just kind of smooths it. It takes what we drew, and it doesn't do exactly what we did, and it gives it much less nodes. So now we only have one, two, three, four, five, six nodes, which lets us have a lot more control. So if you're signing your signature, and you have this down to the default, which is five, your signature is going to look super, super ugly, I think. And if you go to edit it, you're going to have a thousand nodes in here to edit. Especially if you draw slowly. The slower you draw your signature, the slow, you're, the way more nodes you're going to get in there. See, so look at this. Um, but if we turn the smoothness up to even like, if we turn to 95, which is just way higher than you probably ever want to do, and then we draw like the letter A, it just makes it look nice and smooth, right? Or like the letter, let's do a T. J. <laughs> so that's just much smoother than it would have looked if we had our smoothness down to 5% or 5. Because with this, it's like T, J, and it's just a lot more. You can see the difference of it, right? And you can really see the difference when you go in to edit the nodes. This one has basically, uh, this is two nodes, one, two, incredibly simple. Whereas this one is... No, not so many, but it's still quite a bit. It's like 20 different nodes, maybe. And these ones are quite, you know, a lot of different nodes to create this arc, whereas this one is going to be just two nodes. That's it to create the arc. And that's what we're going to learn more about in the next tutorial with our Bezier tool. But these arcs are controlled. You have these handles here, so you can control the steepness of this arc. You can pull this handle out, or you can control the angle of it and control the shape that way. Anyway, Let's get into our Bezier tool in the next video, but that's how you can use the freehand tool if you want to. Just use this smoothness, and it's going to help things out a lot. Or if ever you have a really complicated thing like this J here, and you want to smooth it out, you can go to Path, and then go to Simplify. And you can do that a couple times. Path, Simplify. Just keep doing that a few times, and eventually you'll have a really a much simpler. Um, you'll, ha you'll just remove the amount of nodes you have and create a simpler object that you can edit much easier than having to go in and edit every single, you know, too many nodes. And I guess I'll show you this too. You can actually select multiple nodes. So if we select just these bottom ones, then we can move these bottom ones independent of the rest of the nodes. You can select multiple nodes and delete them. If I select those three and hit the delete key, it'll just delete those nodes. So that's just sort of, you know, touching on getting started editing nodes. And again, these are, this is only with paths. If you go to draw like a rectangle and you want to edit the nodes of it, you can't because it's a, an object and not a path. So to do that, like we learned in our last video, you go to path, object to path. 
Then you can edit individual nodes. And you can add in nodes by double clicking. You can add another node in there and create kind of a cool shape, right? And you can actually click and just create an arc. If you click and drag, you can bend a part of the shape and kind of start to create really cool looking things. So join me in the next video where we'll talk about and be demonstrating using the Bezier tool. Go ahead and feel free to ask questions, comment below, get involved with the discussion, and I'll see you on the next video.